Oh, hang on a second. Hey everyone. <laughs> hang on here. I'm still getting set up. I can't see my chat yet. Let's see. How is everybody? Okay. There we go. Okay, now I can see my chat. <laughs> Michelle's here. Claire's here. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Claire. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. So, I'm trying to figure out... <laughs> stupid thing. I'm doing this on my... Um, on my phone. And... Uh, it won't let me... Rotate the camera to landscape... I'm trying to find the settings for it. Chat, cancel. No. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Orientation is locked. Okay. Well, how do I unlock it? It won't let me do it, so I'm sorry this is going to be really funky until I turn the thing around. Um, but hi! <laughs> How is everybody? Let me put this up here where I can see it better. Okay. So, yeah. So I have my iPad going with the chat so I can see what everyone's saying. Hi, Kiki! <laughs> and I have my phone is my camera. So, um, I'm going to get set up here in a second and show you what we're going to be doing but um i also wanted to share some things because as some of you may know most most of you may know um i sometimes go down to san diego with my hubby when i tag along with him and um oh thank you kiki um I, I tag along with him on, when he goes to work and I'll spend the day down in San Diego while he's at work and I went and I saw my mom and we we had some mom daughter day and we we went to um, this dollar store that's not like any other one I've ever been in I walked in the store and like the first three aisles were all craft stuff so, you know, my eyes were probably about as big as quarters. And uh, they had just all kinds of stuff um, that was, you know, a dollar. I think the most expensive thing was a dollar fifty. But, uh, yeah, it was. It was, <laughs> it was heaven. And, you know, there is all the, you know, all the other stuff that you would find in a dollar store. But, um there was like an auto parts section and I started going through there looking at stuff that I could use with uh, my crafting and um, I I actually was pretty good I only I only spent nine dollars and um, but we also went to um, Walmart and we were looking at the craft stuff in there and I found a couple of things that I needed that for some ornaments that I'm working on for a gift exchange and I can't share those yet because I haven't sent them off to my person and I don't want her to see them until she gets them um, but I can show you some other things that I'm working on which you know what uh, let's see here I'm gonna set you guys down and excuse the mess behind me, that's my other workspace for when I'm working on my candle business. Um, but I did these three-dimensional stars or snowflakes or whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to make some more. They're a lot of fun. And 
that's tidy. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> but thank you. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do some more of those. I may do a video on them. Um, I forgot where I saw a video where I learned how to do them. I think it's a, a the gal, her channel's name is Shabby Fabrics. And she does a lot of um, quilting type fabric, sewing, you know, a lot of fabric stuff. So, but I'll show you some of the things that I got. So they had these styrofoam rings so I can make some wreaths. These were a dollar. <laughs> there's four of them. So I'm going to do some of those quilted wreaths. And then they had the bigger ones. Where are they? Get this stuff out of the way. So there's the bigger ones. These were a dollar. There's two in the package. And I kind of went nuts on these. They also had the cones, so I'll do some Christmas trees, and, oh, yes, and the bells, and there's different sizes. These were all a dollar each, and I had looked at them in, um, <laughs> nice cones, thank you. <laughs> My husband thinks so too, but we're not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had looked at the styrofoam balls and stuff at um, uh, Walmart, but they were, I think you got like six, might have been six, I think it was four for, <laughs> Michelle, you're cracking me up. Um, it was like three or four dollars for like four of them or six of them, I think. And so I was like, well, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll, I know I've seen them at the Dollar Tree, but my mom wanted to show me this other store. So we went in there and when I saw them there, I got four of them for a dollar and they're the big ones. So I got two packages of those so that I can do more of my ornaments. And then my mom, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. And then we found... These little ladybugs, which I thought were so cute. I love ladybugs. So, and I thought these would be really cute to add to if some if you remember the the little tea light, um, the terracotta tea light, or not tea light, votive candles holders. I was gonna do um, these guys when I did these. I think those ladybugs would make really cute embellishments. So I got those. Those were $1.50. Um, oh, yes. And we, everyone, you all know that I love hummingbirds also. I found these little hummingbirds. These were also $1.50. And then, nice balls. <laughs> Michelle. And these birds, those are so cute. These would go for the, with my little bird houses that I've been doing. And so that's what I found at the dollar store. And my mom went through her stash and she found, I don't know what the heck this stuff is. It's like coil tubing, like mesh. It's squishy. It's like tubing. I don't know what it is, but she had pink and blue and green and purple. I'm going to figure out something to do with this stuff. And she's like, here, you take it. <laughs> hey, Mom. Oh, hang on. My cones fell on the floor. <laughs> And my balls. Huh. I'm gonna put them back in their bag. I'll let you guys run with that.
Wait, 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 wait. I'm checking the chat. Sorry, guys. We've seen peeps use LED lights in those on a headband. Oh, yeah. That'd be cute. The cones. The cones. <laughs> Don't try. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I've been up to. That's what I did on Monday. Um, and see, I wanted to share a couple of other things before we get started here, because we're actually going to be making something. Uh, some of you have seen these little bows that I've been making. They're all beaded. There's the front and the back. And this one's kind of big. Um, let me give you something to put it into perspective. Get a quarter. Okay. So there's a quarter. See if that helps. So that's how big it is. And then I did this other one, which I was actually managed to turn it into an earring. Aren't they cute? Love these. Love these. These were so much, these are so much fun to make. And I'm actually starting to work on the other one so that the I have a pair. Um, yeah, I may do a video because the, um, the channel that I saw where, where she makes these, uh, there was there was three or four different ones that I watched, and it's that's what inspired me to give it a try. Um, she uses different types of beads uh, for the for beaters. Um, the you know the the delica beads, which are they're kind of they're cylinder type beads, so they fit together. You can kind of see. Let's see. if it'll zoom it's not the best camera there we go so you can see they're kind of cylinder shaped so they fit together but when you go to try to because you have to bend it it doesn't want to bend you kind of have to force it and not kind of you have to force it um, to stitch it together and when I did it I actually ended up breaking the thread and I got really mad and thought I was going to have to tear the thing, whole thing apart and start over. Uh, but I was managed to repair it without having to do that. I got lucky. So, um, yeah, you do have, to, uh, that project in particular, you do have to manhandle the beads. Um, but then when I did the red one, I used some a different type of bead. You can see... Camera doesn't want to focus, but these ones are more rounded, so it was a lot easier when I had to go to bend it. It was a, not much effort as I did with, as I had to put in with the pink one. So I am definitely going to be doing more. If I can get my little Heine in gear, I'll try and get them up on my Etsy store. And... Let's see, what else have I been up to before we get started here? Uh, let's see. Oh, I was, um, I've been playing with, got a base to be right back. Okay, go base, based away. <laughs> um, I've been playing with polymer clay, and as most of you know, and I came across, actually, no, I didn't. I was working on, what was I doing? I was working on some cabochons and I had some leftover clay and it's like, well, I don't want to have to put this away. There's not much of it. What can I do with it? And the way that I had the clay rolled and twisted together, um, it reminded me of the lollipops that I used to get when I was a kid at Disneyland when you know my mom or my grandparents would take us there take me and my brother and sister um, and if you remember they they had if you know for those of you that have have been they had these suckers that looked like this 
and they were huge. They had small ones, you know, small ones, but then they had these ones that were like as big as your head. And those were the ones that I always wanted because they'd last you forever. Um, but, you know, my mom wouldn't always let me get one. <laughs> but I made that with polymer clay. And Kiki, um, can you please post a link to your store in my group? I thought I had, but yes, I can. Or, and I will. I, I will. Yes. So... I made a little lollipop and I think I'm going to make some more because I've been wanting to make a polymer clay uh, gingerbread house because I love gingerbread houses. Those are one of my favorite decorations at Christmas time. Um, gingerbread houses and the gingerbread people and I, just, I love that stuff. So um, I thought I'd make some more of them to use as decorations in my little house. So, okay. So to actually get on with what we're going to do today, because everybody's been asking me since I posted in the group and even when I showed my mom, uh, first thing she said was, how did you do that? <laughs> I was like, really? It's so easy. It goes back to something that I remember doing in preschool. I think it was preschool. might have been kindergarten, but I think it was preschool. And, um, it's these guys, this little stained glass ornament. I'm going to show you how to do it. It is so easy and it's, um, a lot of fun. If you like to play with glue <laughs> and make a big mess, and that's just what I like to do. I'm really good at making a mess. So. Let's see here. Let me get organized a little bit and then I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can um Debbie, can you post links to the beaded bow? Yeah. Um I'll post links um and the star the oh this guy. Do you mean this guy, Debbie? I can post links to this too. Um and let's see. There was something else I was going to show you, but eh, I can't find it. Um, thought I had everything here that I was going to show you. Um, yes, please. Okay, yeah, I, I will. I will post links. Um, I'll try to get them attached to this after I'm done. And um, I'll also post in um, the groups and on my, um, my Facebook page, Sandra's Beaded Path. Um, so that you guys can, can check out those videos too. Um, the beaded bow, uh, I think I'm going to do a video of my own, um, with how I did it. Cause I changed a couple of things, the way, how I put it together that she did that were, you know, that from how she does it. So I'm going to, let's see if we can turn the camera around so that you guys can see. Nope, it still won't let me. Okay. Oh, bummer. Okay, well, yeah, see the project I'm working on? <laughs> let me get him out of the way. Let's see. So, for this project... Oh. We're going to turn it around again because you get to look at me for a few more minutes while I turn this darn thing around. Okay, let's see here. So, oh, this is so annoying. I don't know that I'm going to use this. Um, going to use this thing again. Um, when I set up the live thing, I didn't do it through the Google Hangouts like I usually do. It was letting me set it up through my phone, um, yeah, but it won't let me turn it to the um, landscape. 
landscape mode so that you know I don't have the black lines on the side which is bugging me because I know how to <laughs> okay okay Michelle are you all basted hey Susan glad you could make it I'm gonna try and turn this around now you guys get to there we go like my pretty tabletop <laughs> okay so let's see Shannon can you please post the links to your store okay I read that I bought a big package of tissue paper so I can make some oh good Kiki yeah I just actually went out to the garage where all my Christmas stuff is stashed right now I'm starting to pull it, some of it out and I pulled out all the tissue paper that I had left over and had saved from years past so um, it's a great thing that to it's great thing to save and you know reuse and Everyone always thinks I'm crazy because I take my time and I'm so delicate when I open packages. And they don't understand. You know, I save it and I use it in other stuff. It is posted. Oh, okay. Thanks, Kiki. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to have to kind of do this. What you're going to need for this project is tissue paper of whatever color you want. You can use the colors that I've used. Um, we can do a Christmas one with, I have red and I have green and white. Um, or I can do another one that's just like the one that I've already done. You guys, you guys tell me <laughs> what you want. Do you want to do the stained glass or do you want to do a Christmas colored one? Um, you're going to need Mod Podge, and I'm using, and I thought it worked out really well because it actually gives it a little more shine. The Mod Podge I have is the Super Gloss, and do you think, thank you, I, I plan on it, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna, so let's see, um, I'm using some um, let's see, crystal glitter that I bought, I don't know where I bought this, it was $7.99 I got it for $3.50, it's a big old thing, uh, Hobby Lobby, found it in the clearance bin, um, so you need some glitter, and let's see, oh, most important piece, you need the ornament, and I have these ones and I like these ones because they remind me of like the old-fashioned um, ornament I think I yeah I bought these a couple years ago at big lots for I think these it says five dollars but I don't I think I got them after Christmas so they were less than that I can never get this stinking thing back in. And I know Michelle's going to tell me to save this plastic and make templates with it. Once I'm done with the ornaments. And I think I saw her do a video where she used like plastic from the other, from packaging. Like that. It's making me mad now. Okay, I'll deal with it later. Yup, yeah, I know you know what I'm talking about, Michelle. Okay, so you need your ornament, you need the glue, you need that, you need a brush. And I'm just using this makeup brush that I bought at the Dollar Tree. It's got soft bristles and they don't come out. And I actually got this idea from another crafter that I watch. Uh, some of you may watch her. Uh, I, think, I think her channel's called... Happy Bird, Happy Bird something or other. I can't remember the whole name, but I know Happy Bird's in there. She does a lot of really neat crafts. And um, homemade stencils, that's what it is, yes. 
Thank you, Michelle. I remember watching that video and you took like the plastics and stuff. Yes, that's it, Kiki. Thank you. One very happy bird. Um, yeah, I, I love a lot of, she does a lot of really neat um, things that she finds with, finds from, with stuff that she gets at the Dollar Tree and, you know, the dollar stores. So, um, yeah, I got that idea from her using these makeup brushes and they actually work really good. Um, and you'll need tissue paper and I'm actually just going to do another one that, uh, with the rainbow paper because I've already got some that's torn up. So what you're going to want to do is just shred it. That's all you do is you just tear up pieces. Oh, you're doing the angel wings, Kiki? Awesome. That's awesome. I hope you post pictures. I want to see how yours turn out. Um, I started on one of hers that she did. Um, what was it? The ornament that she did was... Uh, I can't remember what it was, but I didn't have the shape that she had. So I ended up doing a Christmas stocking and it was done with the felt and then she put like the ring of, um, I think it was cup chain. She would put her, she put around the border. Um, can't remember what the shape was that she used though. I have to find, I'd have to go back and look, but anyways, yeah, I, I, I started working on one of her projects too. So anyways, I'm getting sidetracked, which you know, happens all the time. I, my mind is, I'll be working on one thing and my mind is off thinking about 10 other different things that I want to do or have to do or <laughs> should have done. <laughs> and let's see who else is here. Judy. Hi, Judy. Welcome. Welcome. We're just getting started here. So you yeah, got, you just want to shred up your little pieces of tissue paper. So I've kind of got that and I'll probably shred these up a little more and just tear them because the ornaments are actually, like this one will make smaller because you want, you want those rough edges that's going to help uh, with the effect. Yeah, this guy's kind of big too and just, you want random shapes. Nothing has nothing symmetrical. There we go. I think I got. Okay. Oh, wait, he's kind of big. So, yeah, like that. Tear him in half. Okay. So we have. Oh. Every time I think I got them all. There. Well, you know what? I think we need some more of that. So I'm going to get a little more of the, the light purple. And you can do as many colors as you want. Um, That's the fun thing. Well, that and shredding this paper. When I was uh, going to my therapy Okay, are we there? Am I, can you hear me? Can you hear me all? I'm here. Is everybody still there? I'm sorry. My, oh good, oh good. <laughs> my um, alarm on my phone went off and <laughs> it cut the, the live feed. How rude. Okay, so I'm just shredding up some pieces here. I may not use all of these, but 
it's better to have more than enough than not enough, especially once your fingers get glue on them. Or, you know, the Mod Podge. Okay. So there you go. So you got your stuff shredded. You know what I think I need to do is sell some of my crafts, get some of my stuff sold, save up my money, and uh, get me a better camera. I like the camera on my phone, but this is bugging me that I can't make it go in the landscape because I didn't go through Google Hangouts. I, I know that's why. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out the little topper thing. We're going to set him aside. And actually, I'll just stick my finger there because it makes it easier to hold. For me, um, I have a hard time gripping things with my finger. The nerves in my fingers are all damaged from um, the tendonitis and um, the beginnings of carpal tunnel. And it'll get, I won't be, I can't really hold things. But we're going to do what we can here. Okay. So all you're going to do, we are here. Oh, good. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so glad you guys are still here. And this stuff stinks. Ugh. <coughs> okay, this is under $50. Okay, I will keep my eyeballs open for that. Um, I may even have to watch the Black Friday sales um, on Amazon and um, Ebates. I use a lot. I go. I do a lot of stuff through Ebates uh, for the cash back. Love Ebates. I've gotten quite a bit of cash back. Is this Mod Podge? Yes, this is Mod Podge, and the one I'm using is the Super Gloss Brilliant. It's a one coat gloss finish. So, let's see. If, is it kind of dark? Let me turn the lights on. There. Is that better? Can you guys see now? <laughs> it's kind of dark, huh? Uh, let's see here. Who's the magical touch? Hi, magical touch. Welcome, welcome. What do we got going on here? Okay, there's nine of you here. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in. I just dip right out of the bottle so that I'm not wasting anything. And you're just going to paint it on a little at a time. Oops. And this is all there is to it. And it's going to it's going to look kind of funky. Uh, I want to do this color. And they can overlap. And because this stuff doesn't dry very fast, you know, you can take your time. Actually, let's see. Yeah, let's do that one. And I hope you guys okay. And let's see, let's do green. And I'm gonna try and just go around the top here first. And let's see. 
you're just going to randomly put pieces on. You want to get up as close to the neck as possible. Uh oh. Okay, let's see. Let's do a little green here. And then. This guy got crunched. Oh, my neighbor dogs are going nuts. Okay, so now we're just going to move down. Tried OBS with no success. Um, magical touch. I usually just use Google Hangouts. Um, yeah, I had, I tried that one too and I couldn't figure it out. The XSplit broadcaster, I was, I had it downloaded and I tried figuring, uh, yeah, I couldn't figure it out. Um, but I usually just use Google Hangouts. I didn't this time because I was able to set up the live right through the YouTube app on my phone. But the downside is, is it won't let me turn the camera to landscape mode. And I have to do it in uh, portrait mode, which gives me those lines. And I, I don't like that. <laughs> so um, I've learned my lesson there. I won't be doing that again. And let's see, let's put, let's do a big green turquoise one right there. Even when this is wet, it looks really cool. And don't worry about the wrinkles. The wrinkles actually kind of give it some dimension. And let's see what we're going to put here. No. Yeah, I want that guy. Stuff wants to stick to my finger. Okay. And let's see next. Hmm. Rotate it again. And let's see what color do we want over here. We don't have any light purple over here. So let's see. Am I, I hope I'm staying in frame for you guys. I have that's another one I try I struggle with. Okay, and I'm going to put a green like that one. There we go. And you wanted to overlap, that's okay.
and see what's going on. Bleeding tissue? Uh, not sure what that is. I'd say try it. That's a good idea, Kiki. You could probably could do that with white ornaments. I haven't tried it with any colored ornaments yet. Um, the only ones I have are, I think I only have red and I th gold and I might have some green. Um, But yeah, uh, a white, that would probably work out really good. Let's see, what do we want over here? How about some dark purple? Yeah, I had to tell hubby, do not call me between nine o'clock Actually, I told them, don't call me until I call you, because at 9 o'clock, I'm going live on my channel. That looks good right there, huh? I like that one. Yeah, and don't be shy about using the glue. My fingers are starting to stick to it. Um, let's see what color do we want over here. We don't have no pink. I forgot about the pink. Yep. Okay, let's go this way, right there. And Okay, Judy. Bye. Hope you have a really great day. Happy Thanksgiving to you. <clears throat> Can't believe it's already that time of year. I will be going over to my mother-in-law's for dinner and this is a new concept for me because I'm so used to the one preparing it I'm not used to just being a guest uh oh you know what guys we're running out of green okay no mm. I have to get some more green. Or not. So, making a mess. <laughs> Told you I would make a mess. Um, I remember doing a project similar to this in preschool. Like, you know, it might have been kindergarten. I want to say it was preschool. Um, and even, you know, paper mache projects I remember doing. And that's kind of what inspired this. Yeah, one night I was just, you know what, we're going to try it and see how it turns out. Okay, let's see here. We're getting 
Dark purple. No. It's not starting to stick to my fingers. Get off. And yeah, don't be shy to overlap it. It kind of adds to the effect as well. And look what I did. Don't, because the tissue paper is wet, I don't want to touch it too much and tear it. going on in chat I can't I haven't looked where are we all talking about let's see oh thank you Michelle for posting my store yes I haven't been in there in a while I need to update some stuff I need to add a lot of stuff um, I run in I run into trouble with the description and I don't know what to say. <laughs> so we are being very, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, Kiki. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I've seen you guys in chat before. <laughs> okay. You know what? I want some more green. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give See, we can do this one-handed. Uh-oh. Yeah, that should be good. Maybe a little more purple. Come on. They're sticking in my fingers. <laughs> they have glue on them. I'm too busy staring. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I usually have Michelle when, I, when I'm watching you. Or anyone else for that matter. I just get so enthralled with what's going on that. Okay. And let's put that strip of purple. Right there. And, uh-oh, says I have a low battery. Hold on here, guys. I gotta plug in. Oop. Sorry about that. All right, I gotta plug in. There we go. Okay. And I hope you guys can all hear me okay.
What's going on? I'm reading chat. Hang on. You have patience of a saint. I would have dunked that thing and slapped on that tissue. <laughs> I don't know if it's patience or more that, oops, sorry, make you guys sick. <laughs> um, more that I'm a perfectionist and everything's gotta be in a particular spot or it will drive me crazy. I think that's what it comes down to. And I get it from my mother And see. <laughs> I could see you, Michelle, just dunking the whole thing. That would be funny. Okay. We're almost there. We've got, let's see, what do we want? How about some light purple, right? There. Okay, I think we covered it all. So I'm gonna do one last coat around the whole thing. And we're gonna do the glitter. Okay. Now the last, when I did the other one, I let the whole thing, there we go. I don't want glitter in my glue. Um, I, the last time I did this one, oh, and I got glue down there too. Get off. I'm going to put down a big old piece of paper. And get a piece of paper. There we go. I'll put this one down. It's, it's in a foreign language, so I, I can't even read it. And I'm just going to sprinkle the glitter. And oops, I missed a spot. This would probably be really pretty if you have some of that glass glitter. Okay. So now, what I do is I just take a stick or something. Some sort of thing that you can stick up in the thing inside the ornament. And I just have him sit. Like, I just use my little mason jar full of glue sticks and I just let that hang out and dry and that's it that's all there is to it and then you know after it dries I give it overnight it, it'll probably be dry within a couple of hours Mod Podge dries pretty quick um, but I would let it dry overnight and then from there, you know, I would put the little, the little cap back on it. And, um, you could decorate it some more if you wanted to put some, you know, embellish it anymore. I like, I think they're pretty just the way they are. And, um, I've noticed that the glitter does like to fall off. I was thinking about trying, um, using like an acrylic sealer. 
and you know spraying the whole ornament with um, an acrylic sealer Mod Podge has one that's the one that I have um, as an it's an acrylic sealer and um, seeing if that kind of would help to hold to hold the glue or not the glue the glitter <laughs> on um, or if you know if you guys have any ideas you know let me know you know after this video post you can put it in the comments and um, yeah, so that, that, I mean, they're, they're really easy. Um, they're pretty quick. That didn't take us very long. That was less than an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of these and I might sell them. I don't know. I know my mom wants one. She was, you know, she, her eyeballs about fell out of her head when I showed it to her. And, uh, I might I might do some that I sell. I think I'm going to do a couple more. I might do um, one with Christmas colors like I was talking about earlier and using you know, red and green and white tissue paper. And, um, well, thanks, Michelle. I try. <laughs> Rust-Oleum triple thick. I would also, yeah, that, okay. I thought about that too, um, Claire, doing another layer of the Mod Podge. Um, but I'm worried that I might brush the uh, the glitter that's on there because it does come off rather easily. Um, so that's why I, I that's why I thought, you know, if I did a spray adhesive or sealer, it might be better. I don't know. I'm still kind of toying around with it. So, yeah, I've seen her do that too. Um, when she'll she'll seal her stuff in. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys do these. Uh, if you don't, if you follow, if you're not already following me on my on my Facebook page, Sandra's Beaded Path, um, you'll feel feel free to join. I'll I'll put a link in um, the description. So if you want to check that out later. Um, you know, come and follow me. You can share pictures on there and of of things that you do because I love to see what other people do. Um, I get inspired by all of you as well. Um, and uh, yeah, be sure to follow me here on on my channel. And oh, good. Michelle is on it. She's posting the links for me. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, Check out my Etsy store and I'm hoping that I'll be able to get that updated pretty soon. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, Susan, she's being a good wrench, huh? <laughs> I'm going to have to reward her with something. And oh, you're so welcome, Magical Touch. I'm I'm so glad I can share and, and inspire you got you know all of you guys. Um, it's usually just me here. All only ones I ever have to talk to are my dogs. <laughs> I don't venture out very often. Um, like like I said earlier, you know Mondays are the days that I can travel with my husband down to San Diego, and. Um, get into trouble there um do more live shows I'm trying <laughs> I would like to and you know I was telling Michelle this morning when she asked me if I was going live that I was fighting off the nerves because you know that that anxiety just kind of creeps up and you know even though I'm not in front of a group of people that are, you know face to face that helps and makes it easier but I still get nervous talking to um when i know the attention is on me um thanks michelle <laughs> so you know i try and um i got an update from my attorney i'll share this little tidbit um from my attorney that um is helping me with my disability case um he's he's pretty confident um that my hearing I'm waiting for a hearing. It will be sometime 
in early in the new year, um, most likely, um, he said most likely February. It might possibly be January, um, but he said most likely will be February um, that I'll have my hearing. Hopefully I'll get this approved. Um, and he's fighting for me for, um, for my anxiety issues. So, um, oh, Stephanie, hey, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you made it. Yes, you'll have to watch the playback. Um, we just finished up doing the ornament. I didn't think it was going to go that fast, but... <laughs> Yeah, I imagine I'm just going to be a basket case when my hearing comes. Um, I'm, I, when I got the letter that they had transferred it to the National Hearing Center, um, meaning that the judge is going to be um, through a video conference, he won't actually be in the room. Um, when I got that letter, uh, I just turned into a big pile of jelly. <laughs> I was just all nerves. I was so nervous. And, um, it'll do, okay, P uh, Kiki, I, I will, I will do that. Cause yeah, I'm just, I've been doing research on it, trying to, you know, cause I don't know what to expect. I, and that's a lot of what scares me is wait, wait, Steph, hang on here. Oh, oh, thank you, Stephanie. Oh, my eyesight's going too. <laughs> I can't see nothing. Um, good luck. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, that's the other. My my mother in law is paying for me to get my eyes checked and get my glasses my glasses prescription updated. Um, I love my mother in law. She's she's the best. She's so awesome. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better mother-in-law. Uh, I just love her to death. And she's probably going to watch this later and <laughs> she's going <laughs> to, I don't know what she's going to say, but yeah, I love her to death. Um, so yeah, um, we're just waiting now for my date for, um, but from what I've read, it, oh my gosh, they, from what I've read about what a hearing is like, um, it almost makes me feel like I'm being put on trial and, uh, you know, that I've, that I'm on trial for a, a crime that I've committed. And it's, it just, because there's someone, there's going to be other people there that are trying to prove that you're not disabled and that you can work and, I'm just, I just, you know, these things just go through my head and I'm just like, uh, no, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Um, the, where I, where I was, they, that, they, um, wrecked me mentally and I just, I can't deal with it anyway. I can't cope. Screw, yeah, see, that's what I'm afraid of because it's like, which might help with my emotions because that's just going to make me more nervous and more of a basket case. Um, yeah. It's... Yeah, it's so frustrating. It's so, but you know, it, and it's been a very long trek. Um, this is, I think I'm going on four years now that I've been waiting. And so I'm hoping this is going to be the end of that road and we're going to get the answer that I'm hoping for. Um, cause that would certainly help. And, um, so yeah. In the meantime, I'm, yeah, it's awful. It is awful. And 
my patience is running very thin, but that's all I can do is just wait. It's all I can do. So I sit and I wait and I do crafting to pass the time and you know, hang out with my, with my two dogs. Um, I've got one of them in here with me. My little shadow, he follows me everywhere. And um, the other one, uh, yeah, she could care less. <laughs> she, well, I'm sure that's not true, but she's all full of attitude. My other one is is full of ad attitude. Thank you, Stephanie. You know, I don't plan on giving up. I will fight this until I until they do give it to me. Um, but my it sounded like the last time I talked to my attorney that he he sounded pretty confident that he was going to be able to get it. So we'll see. We'll see. But um, what time is it? Oh, it is just after 10. Okay. So, by the way, um, oh, okay. That sounds good, Claire. Um, yeah, so, um, I've got other videos to do today. Um, I have another channel um, for the candle company that I work with. Uh, I'm a distributor for, um, and they just came out with some new products that I, I want to share on my other channel. So um, I've got to do a video for that, and I got to do a video for. Um, ow, for um, another beading project I'm working on. I'm not going to spill the beans. It's a surprise. And let's see, what else am I doing today? I think that's about it because um, I'm still kind of recouping from my trip on Monday. That was a long day. I did a lot. I, I overdid it on walking and uh, so my feet and my legs hurt really, really bad. Um, yes, it is a very busy, 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 busy. I can't even talk anymore. Pardon me while I have a stroke. Um, it was. It's a very busy day, and I'm already worn out thinking about what I have to do. <laughs> oh yes, Michelle. I have to finish watching that too. I think I might be doing that later when I have while I have my lunch. Um, I'm pretty much caught up on all my Netflix shows. I just finished watching Sherlock. I really liked that one. That one was a good show. Um, I can't watch The Punisher yet because I have to wait for Hubby to watch that one. And, oh, I have Downton Abbey to watch. I'm still watching Downton Abbey. I'm enjoying that. Didn't think I was going to like it, but I actually do. <laughs> Um, it is, but he, my attorney was saying because of my age that, um, um, that the, uh, the, all the pro other, the physical problems that I have, uh, he, he thinks because of my age, it's not gonna be enough because I'm too, he says I'm still kind of young. I don't feel it, but. Um, I mean, I'll be 45 in January. Um, so yeah, you know, I might be young in most people's eyes, but, um, I certainly don't feel it. You know, between my back pain, which is getting worse and, um, the fibromyalgia, which is getting worse. Um, you know, I, I'm sure it, it is part of the case, but I think he's more focusing more Tell me about it, Kiki. It is bull crap. Yeah, I was about the same age. Um, I was, let's see, when I left on leave, medical leave, um, it was 2013. 40. I think I was 40. 
almost 41, when I went out on medical leave because of the anxiety. Oh, 45 in June, huh? 73. I was born in 73. Um, yay. <laughs> I feel a lot older, though. <laughs> Um, uh, that's what, that is what my claim was based on. My attorney told me the same thing. Fibro and fatigue was my claim. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. I'm just tired all the time. And I've told, my doctors have told that and have put that in the report that he's, that they gave to my attorney. Um, yeah, I'm not full blown diabetic, but I do have the insulin resistance um, and I'm able to control it with diet. I don't have to take medication or, uh, do insulin or anything like that yet. Hopefully I won't have to, but, um, yeah, yeah. We, I threw, when I filed, I threw everything in there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all in there. 63. Boy, wow. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost the same age as my mom. My mom was born in 56. You're close. Yes. Yes, yes. The doctor I was that I was seeing um was for the pain management. Um Four. Yeah. Not bad. Well, you're still young too. <laughs> I hate when people say that. I don't. I. Just, oh, you're so young. Well, yeah, that's that's great, but you know, <laughs> I certainly don't feel it. Uh. I have a lot of suggestions for you. I'll have. I'll. I'll have to PM you later, Kiki. <laughs> I will. I get that, yeah. Uh, the other one that drives me up the wall is, it's all in your head, just get over it. I, <laughs> I swear I just want to cold cock somebody one day that says that to me, because I hate that phrase. Yeah, I heard about that, Kiki. That was really sad. He wasn't very old either. Oh. Yeah, I I would be devastated. Or I will be devastated when my first crush passes. He hasn't passed yet. I know that when I had a GP telling hubby I had a psychosis behind my back. You see, that's just wrong. Yeah, don't tell, don't tell me to just get over it. You know, if there if there was, I'll say it again, and I've said it many times. If there was a light switch that I could turn that off, I would. So, um, I think I'm going to get going. I've been on here for a little over an hour, and my phone is getting really hot. I don't want it to melt because it's got to last me until I can get a new one. Um, which is about another six months before I can get a new one. Um, hopefully, if all goes well with my hearing. Uh, otherwise, I'll be stuck with this one for a while. Um, which isn't bad. I love my phone. I have, it's an iPhone success. I love it. Um, but, uh, yes, I'm going to get going for now. And, yes, happy Thanksgiving to everybody here. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Remember that what you're thankful for and I hope you don't get caught up in those crowds on Friday with the with the sales if you do stay safe just let the wackos go by and stay out of their way <laughs> so um yeah I hope everyone has a wonderful day I hope you all have a wonderful holiday uh, eat lots of turkey I myself am having prime rib um, over at my mother-in-law's 
and I will chat with you all later. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.